Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. And boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. So look, man, um, today I had some time to get on Twitter. And I got into an interesting uh, conversation with Rick Glacier uh, early this morning. But then the conversation kind of continued. And Ishe Smith uh, jumped on. And what, what, what developed was a pretty interesting, I say conversation, kind of debate. But it was a real interesting conversation um, with me having my, my opinion perspective, Ishe Smith having a perspective as a fighter, and then Rick Glacier having this perspective as a guy who, you know, seems to have a little bit of an inside scoop on a little bit of everything and has no problem giving his opinion. But that, that being said, it all started off um, with, uh, he, well, the conversation was about Ryan Garcia De La Hoya and B-Hop because a lot of people, they just feel that B-Hop and De La Hoya are snakes and they, they don't like the way he handled Ryan Garcia. They, they handle Ryan Garcia. But Rick is defending Oscar De La Hoya and B-Hop. Bernard Hopkins, you know he has a PhD. So he's defending him. So anyway, Ishe Smith says, you know what, Oscar, you know, or B-Hop, you know, they're not in the ring. They're pissed. That's, you know, Ryan won the fight. And then Rick Glacier chimed in about nine hours later, and he's like, no, they're not. Stop listening to Ryan. You should know better, champ. Uh, the money is with Ryan. Duarte is still Duarte. Win or lose, if Duarte is replaceable, Ryan is not replaceable as an attraction. I know. And then I said, well, look, man, Oscar and Behop proved to be toxic and unprofessional. Ryan deserves better. And then Rick Glacier says, again, that, you know, Ryan is the culprit. And he says, and he's the cause. And what he's doing is he's alluding to all the turmoil and chaos between Ryan Garcia and, um, and, and Golden Boy. Now... Now, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm just a guy who does videos. I do a lot of reading. I watch some videos. But I've, I've heard from several sources that there's more to the story as far as Golden Boy and Ryan Garcia. I've even heard, again, this is just having a conversation, right? That Ryan Garcia, his dad... They ensured that no one would would come on that stage uh, after Ryan Garcia lost the tank. And that's why De La Hoya wasn't there, and that's why Bernard Hopkins wasn't there. Now, I'll tell you to take that with a grain of salt. But if something like that happened, then that's a foul, an absolute foul. And then you can kind of understand why Hopkins and De La Hoya would be pissed, but because if they're truly innocent and now they're being attacked by everyone, you, know, you can understand they're like, well, hold on, this, this, that's not the case. But I haven't heard them say that. And again, I said, again, take away the grain of salt. So I said, look, man, several people are saying, you know, that Ryan Garcia is the culprit. I like, but they want to, they want to elaborate. And then Rick says, you know, I won't either, but we'll say Ryan's a phony. Then Ishe jumps in. He says, got to disagree. Dealt with Golden Boy for a minute. I will say Hop and Oscar are both B-words. So is the company as a whole. There's a reason why Canelo bounced. Oscar is the biggest fraud of them all. I know, experienced for myself. And, you know, you got to, you know, Ishe Smith is out here talking openly. So, obviously, he experienced, experienced something as a fighter and just a guy who was in those circles. And Rick comes to the defense. You know, look, I deal with and interact with Oscar and Eric daily. I find them to be a pleasure to deal with and both quality guys. And Ishe says, you know, Oscar is a two-faced B-word. So is Hop. But Gomez is cool. So everybody seems to, it seems like Gomez is kind of the easygoing one, the, the guy who's trying to keep the peace. And Rick says, I don't see that in Oscar. I rarely interact with Bernard. But on occasion, Gomez is a real, very classy guy. Then Smith chimes in again and says, Rick, Got to be fair across the board. Multiple fighters has called him a snake, but you see good. I see good in no man wearing pantyhose, but carry on. 
You'll be killing PBC, rightfully so in some instances, but to give that snake praise makes your statements about PBC disingenuous. See, I like what P what, what Ishe Smith said here. He, he said, look, that in some instances, PBC deserves to be killed. So he's not just trying to, you know, uh, uh, hold his ground and just disagree with, with, um, with Rick Glacier. He, he actually is agreeing with him on some things. But then Rick says, champ, I come to my conclusion on how Oscar treats me and his staff, period. How he interacted with you, that's your conclusion based on your personal experience. There's nothing ever disingenuous to what I say, write, or do. And anyone that knows me will tell you that. Then Smith says, that's why I say if you constantly attack one brand, praise the other brand because of your dealings with say, because your dealings with that said brand that makes them a solid entity. So if PBC dealt with you, so if PBC dealt with you, would that make them solid as well? Would they not be the objection of criticism because they're good, because they're good to you? And Glacier goes, you know, I dealt with PBC and it's one, and and one of its entities. Never again would I do business with them. And then Smith says, you know, and a lot of people feel that way about Golden Boy Promotions, including boxing's biggest star Canelo. Crazy, he's working with PBC, but let G, uh, Golden Boy Promotions tell it. They were working and cutting back. Uh, they were working and cutting back no deals behind his back. And Glacier said he also left Hearn since Oscar uh, don't go by what Canelo does. He simply goes wherever they pay him the most. That's a fact. And then Smith says, you never criticize top rank of Golden Boy, but PBC gets all the smoke. I criticize them all, no matter if I've worked with them or not, because I care about the fighters and the state of boxing. You care about working relationships. There's a big difference in what we both stand for. I, I kind of agree with what Smith is saying here. Rick, Rick is willing to go down in flames. Uh, to, to not say anything bad about, you know, certain certain organizations. I have noticed that. Then he says, I've been critical of top rank at times, but they tend to correct the shortcomings, unlike PBC. The Smith says, same with Bud, left top rank, finally became boxing's biggest star. What effing promoter constantly talks down one of boxing's best, saying they can't sell and talking S about them. But these are the people you adore. Never seen PBC talking S about any of their fighters, just saying. And that's true. And then I said, you know, both B-Hop and Oscar trolled and bullied Ryan during fight week. Fighters have enough on their minds entering a fight. And then Ishe says, yeah, but he calls Oscar good people. And then Rick Glazier says, uh, Ryan started that whole mess and has been constantly causing issues with his diva ways. And then I just kind of summed it up and said, look, man, I'm a retired guy and find it alarming when leadership takes the I'm okay, you're not okay stance when the organization's dynamics, you know, break down. I said, Ryan may have some culpability in the mess that has taken place. But I said, but Oscar and B-Hop, they chose to escalate the issues rather than de-escalate. And when you listen to that that thread between Ishe Smith, Rick Glacier, and, and, and me, I just see, I'm only sitting here, right, trying to digest that as we were going back and forth. And I can only imagine how you, if Ryan Garcia was there with someone like Rick or with Oscar De La Hoya, B-Hop, or people who are pro Golden Boy, how they could almost talk the way Rick's talking and just make Ryan Garcia really feel like it's not us, it's you. It's like with Oscar De La Hoya coming out here and, and when he said, um, uh, you know, what you're hearing isn't really what's intended on being said. Like saying, the man can't comprehend. That's what Ryan Garcia said. Well, what I'm hearing, you guys speak in English. I, I can understand English. Um, and that's that where people try to, you know, I, I'm about to, I don't want to cuss, but they'll, they'll mind, mind screw you. You know what I mean? Like, like you're ignorant. And Ryan Garcia is not. He's, he's a pretty smart guy. He's a sharp guy. And, and, and he knows when somebody is messing with him. He's not stupid. Same way Oscar De La Hoya is putting all those posts out about Ryan, you know, it's documented. You have mental health issues and we care about you. Please call me. You're not answering your phone. That's horrible. Horrible. Horrible to do that to him. The Ryan Garcia comes out and gets the big win. Now you want to talk about how you're his promoter and, and we're there for, for many, many years to come. Nah, man. 
Y'all, y'all are just all about the money. And that's how I feel, man. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you right now, after just going through this little bit of crap here, watching what Ryan Garcia went through, I'm going to get that, um, I'm going to download that software, man, so I can start uh, inviting people for conversations because, yeah, I would love to have some guys on here to talk about this because, especially boxers, because that just annoys me, man. Now, I, I can't talk and relate from a pro boxer to a pro boxer. I never boxed professionally. But I can sure as hell relate when it comes to having the guy at that worker bee level, having those guys at the kind of leadership level, the CEO level, the management level, and seeing when those working relationships start to fall apart. I'm an expert in that shit. I can sit there and, and have that conversation and totally understand what's going on. I can I can relate it to shit that I've, I've personally been through over the course of my 25-year career. But when I watch that, it just hits home and it stings and I don't like it. That being said, more to come. Hood champion E.J. Smith kind of have a debate and discussion with Rick Glacier. Um, I still, I thought it was good. Um, nobody was attacking each other. It was just, hey, agreeing to disagree. And that's that's really what it's about. So there's some good to Twitter. Twitter's toxic as hell. But depending on who you talk to on there, uh, you may not ag agree, but uh, you can still have a pretty, pretty healthy uh, dialogue. That being said, y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.